What's up, my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Divine Feminine, one of my nieces requested for me to do a reading on the masculine that they recently broke up with. She wants to know what's going on during this session of no contact between her and her person. So this reading may resonate with some of you. Some of you may still wanna be with your person. You may still be interested if they still love you, if they wanna still be with you. Or whatever. We just going to find out what's going on with the person who you recently um, separated from. Divine Masculine, if you up in here, this could be the energy of the feminine energy that you separated from. So, y'all please keep in mind that this reading, it may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Hold on. I'm sorry about that, y'all. My son is sometimes a, a, a nuisance to me, but I love him. But yeah, so somebody requested me to do this reading to find out what's going on with your person while you're in uh, communication. So again, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let this shit go. could be dealing with the Aries or you could be an Aries or a Libra energy out here. We have the Empress in reverse. Karma, some sort of justice is being served. Eight of Wands, the Emperor, Justice, and the Empress in Reverse. So we have the Emperor. Your person, like I said, he could be an Aries or a... He goes by the rules and regulations. A well-organized ruler type of energy. Okay. And right about now, if he has a, a baby mama out there, the baby mama, she could be a Libra or a Taurus, or you could be the Libra or the Taurus. You could be the baby mama. You may not be talking to him because with this Empress in reverse, it could mean a dark feminine, low vibrational feminine, or it can be the empress just not talking to your person right now. You're not talking to him or he's dealing with somebody else who's not talking to him. Somebody ain't talking to him. You're in none communication, so you're not talking to him. But he can also have the energy of a dark baby mama. Somebody's toxic, a, a, ba a baby mama. And he could have made to a quick decision to go back to her. Um, with the holiday romance, the 4th of July coming up, I hate to say it. Uh, somebody may go towards their baby mama while they're in separation from Divine Feminine on a holiday. That's not for everybody. So don't go trying to fight your baby daddy or your, your, uh, your person if he's not your baby daddy. Don't go fighting them. Okay, time will tell if he did. Use your intuition, okay? Listen to your intuition. 
So tell me about the energy. What's going on with this masculine while he's not in com communication? So he's in the Eight of Pentacles energy. He's working hard to improve some skills. He's working hard to be um, organized. If he's if he's already a person who's well organized, you know he's try, he's still working to make himself better. He's working on himself and he's working hard. Okay, but for some of you, he he got the truth about his child's mama because she's trying to keep him stuck with the two of swords. So he's also in the energy. If if he has a child with someone else, he's is just as being served because whatever she did to him is being done to her. Yeah. If she was wanting this masculine to be stuck in a difficult situation, that's where she's at right now. And she may be avoiding him. Yeah. She could be feeling a little embarrassed because she could be stuck. She possibly wasn't organized in this masculine is and working on himself. But he could be he could be stuck in the energy. This this Empress, she could either be a Libra or a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. Or you could be one of them signs. Now, okay, Divine Feminine, some of you, you could be the Queen of Pentacles, right? You could be um, a work-at-home mom, but the work you do at home, it provides financially for you and your family or yourself. But I see this Queen of Pentacles looking at this emperor looking at how he's he's stuck to a situation he's stuck to his baby mama you know he you you look at that you look at that you see it we have the four pentacles energy So this right about now, your masculine energy, he's being stingy. Mm -hmm. He could be hoarding money. He could be hoarding things of value. He could be hoarding letters from you or letters from this karmic baby mama. Or she could be hoarding some letters. Somebody is keeping a whole bunch of letters. Or somebody is sending somebody a bunch of letters. Possessiveness, insecurity. Mm -hmm. This baby mama... Whoever this child's mother is, I don't want to keep saying baby mom. This child's mom could be insecure of her money. She could be stingy. Divine feminine. You could be being stingy, possessive over some things. But uh, this is the masculine's energy. Okay. But these are the energies that could be around him or he could be possessing all these energies. And, uh, somebody is stuck or this masculine he may be getting the truth and the clarity of why he could be stuck in a situation and maybe he's you know trying to set some rules and regulations with himself getting himself organized protecting his energy he's made a decision to protect his energy to balance himself out To balance things out between you and this baby mama, you it's it's like this could be why he's apart from you. 
because of the baby mama drama. Yeah, it's some sort of baby mama drama. And she could be a Libra or a Taurus. Or if you're a Libra or a Taurus, you're the baby mama. But there's also Virgo and Capricorn. So she's a, a somebody is earth sign and an air sign. Yeah. So. Show me the energy that's going on between Divine Masculine while he's in separation from Divine Feminine. What's the energy divine, divine master while he's in separated separation from divine feminine? Some sort of victory. Some sort of victory in court. He could have been married to this person and he could be getting a divorce. Secretly. So you may have known, or if it's not um, a divorce or something, it could. this could be... Some sort of child custody. Um, you may have not known that he has a child with this person. But the secret is coming out. And whatever this news he's getting, it has something to do with the court and some secrets coming out. Some sort of victory and success. Somebody could be a Leo. Whatever this this energy with this court. This is going to make this masculine happy. Something to do with some secrets coming out. He's going to feel victorious. He's not going to have to worry or stress anymore. Clarify these lilies. Somebody's name may be Lily. Clarify these lilies. Somebody may be trying to apologize to this masculine and maybe he's not accepting an apology or somebody could be coming with a fake apology. Or this could be you, Divine Feminine. He could be trying to apologize to you. This may be something that you are unaware of that he's going to court. <coughs> and with the key out here, it was something that he needed to do. It was important for him to do this. Oh, you hear that? That's my neighbors. So this, this, that the feminine could be a loud mouth. She may have tantrums, you know, um, screaming shit. His baby mama could be like that. Or this could be you having to scream like that. Maybe you screamed at him like that, divine feminine. I don't know. But this masculine... While he's in separation from you right about now, he's happy. And it's because it was something that, that it was it was important for him to go to this court or deal with this court. And maybe he didn't tell you because he didn't know how you were handled. And then if he got a loudmouth woman that's there screaming and hollering in his ear, he didn't want to have two loudmouth women or two women screaming in his ear. So he tried to keep this a secret. But he's no longer worried because he didn't won this court case. It's success. Tell me more what's going on with this mask. Yep. The mother bear in reverse. 
This is this is a card I say is a bad mother. She don't take care of her kids. The child didn't reverse. Yeah, this this is this is why he didn't tell you. She's she's a bad mother. She's not protective of her kids. This is a mother who, you know, if 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 it's a baby, and the baby um is still wearing diapers, this is a mother that will let their baby run around in a diaper till it's sagging, looking like they done jumped in the pool or something, just weighing the baby down. This is a mother that won't, you know, put sheets and, and pillows, pillowcases and stuff on the child bed and, you know, piss stains all in the bed. This is this type of mother. Okay. The child in reverse and the mother in reverse. The bear. I call this the mama bear card. The bear and the child in reverse. Yeah. This masculine, you know, he he may feel that this baby mama is bad luck or he may feel that you don't want to accept his apology and he sees you divine feminine as his main chick his main person now you know i always say you don't want to be the main one you don't want to be number one you want to be the only one but i feel that this masculine he's he's not dealing with this baby mama how does this masculine feel about this this child's mama while he's in separation from divine feminine Wow, see? Depression, confusion, the clouds, clouded judgment. She keeps him depressed. That's how he feels about her. How else? He can feel like she got the devil in her with the number six out there. Or something could be significant about the month of June. The coffin in reverse. Yeah, he see, she keeps him confused in some sort of way. She don't want something to end with him. Okay. It's over with them, but it's like she don't want it to to be over. Some of you this who this could represent a Scorpio energy. She, you know, this person isn't awakened. She don't know how to use her intuition or anything like that. She's not loving. She's not caring. She could be a Scorpio. Okay? Somebody is a Scorpio. And if you're a Scorpio, check out that Scorpio reading I put out today. I will be doing Scorpio readings since I am myself Scorpion Queen. So, if you're a Scorpio, you check out the Scorpio readings and get in the comments down there. And I'll do more Scorpio readings. I ain't going to try to do no all signs reading because y'all don't tune in enough. But I will start doing Scorpio readings just for my fellow Scorpios. Okay. So tell me more. How does this masculine feel about the divine feminine that he's in separation from? Wow. Lady. This is, this is you know, this is a soulmate, soulmate card, what I call it. He feels like you're his lady secretly with the moon out here. Secretly, you still, you know, um, he still has, you know, emotions for you. But um, he got to hide it. He got to keep it a secret. He seek it, keep it secret how he feels about you. And he have to keep secrets about what's going on between him with this baby mama or this child's mama but he looks at you as his soulmate so that's just gonna make me living room in reverse he could have been this could be a masculine he could have been you know coming over spending the night sometime with you and then you know he he may not you've been wondering why he haven't been coming over it's because he's dealing with the crazy the loud mouth baby mama that's screaming like that child was screaming. That's significant with somebody. Look under the, the bathroom sink. 
So yeah, some some of that um, may be significant. Something with the living room. Somebody is not sleeping in the living room. Um, this masculine may have been sleeping on the couch at his baby mama house. Could have been living with her, but sleeping on the couch or sleeping on your couch. Something about sleeping on the couch. Okay. So. Oh, this is not the day. Let me get this day. You want to see what, what, so I'm about to go to the Love Tarot deck, as it come out, it's the Twin Flame, for some of you, this is your Twin Flame, saying you are so special. I don't know how to feel about the connection anymore. Yeah, he don't he don't know how to feel. He's un, unsure because he, he's having to sneak around, you know, and um dealing with the courts and you know this baby mama stuff. And she's not she's not somebody who's on a an adult level, she's a loud mouth, she throws tantrums type of energy. <clears throat> and he probably don't want her to follow him to your house or something like that. Yeah. But he's still working hard. But, you know, this, this court situation... He was working on that court situation or trying to get his shit together. Dealing with this court situation, he got it together and he will have the victory. Victory. You claim that victory for him, Divine Feminine. If you want your person and you want the situation between him and a baby mama to be over, you claim the victory for him. Okay. See? Said have my have my kids. He wants kids with you. I want to have a family with you. I know you'd be an amazing parent. I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. See, because whoever the, the child's mama is, remember I said she's one who's, she's not a mother energy. She seemed like that mama on the worst mother on TikTok energy. You know, she don't take care of her kids. She just don't care about them at all. So show me the energy. What what does this masculine have to say to divine feminine? Will you listen? I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation on a mindset that has not served me or hindered it has hindered my growth. Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. Will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? So he want to tell you some things about this baby mama and um, how he feels about you, but he just wants you to listen. Yeah. What else? What else does this masculine have to say to his divine feminine? What else does this masculine have to say to his divine feminine? Father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me externally.
So his father, you know, he could have seen his father do some, you know, negative things to his mother um, that influenced him, how he act towards women now, confirmation. That was a confirmation for some of you. Okay, so, yeah, for some of you, this masculine, the way he treats you is the way he's seen his father treat his mother. And he's afraid to truly open up to you because if he's suffering from father wounds, his father is someone who told him, do not show no emotion. That's the, that's the, the, you know, to, you don't, not the, don't cry, stop crying and all of that shit. They strip these men of having emotions and that's the most fucked up way to be because then they can't, they can't connect to their feminine energy. They'll never understand how a feminine feels if she's hurt. If they have, if they, it was taken away from them to show emotions. And this is somebody who's, who's, you know, there's somebody, this is somebody divine feminine who probably when you cry, your emotions didn't affect them, you know, the way it would somebody who's more loving and caring. This person is stern and stiff themselves. They're an emperor energy. Yeah. It was, they was born with the rules and regulations that a man shouldn't cry. A man shouldn't show emotions. And that's got this masculine energy fucked up in his adult look, in his adult life. Because if he didn't got with the Queen of Cups, someone who's loving, nurturing, and caring, and she's this way towards him and he's not that way towards her, that's not that's not good. Mm-hmm. I'm going to contact you soon, but it came in reverse. Because he gotta leave this situation first. No one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experienced, <clears throat> there's no one who compares to you. And this isn't goodbye. Yeah, so this masculine, he's just trying to, you know, get himself right. I don't want you to walk away. And I don't want to walk away. But it's what's best for me right now. And this isn't, this isn't goodbye. We will come together again. Because I'm afraid to truly open up to you. And I'm ready to leave a situation or a mindset that has hindered my growth. But there's so many things I want to say to you. But will you hear me out all the way? No one compares to you. Give me one more for what this mask on. Oh, mother and father wounds. Yeah. So the way this this mother wounds and the father wounds out here, this masculine was born, you know, up raised by some parents who were, you know, not, you know, they I don't know what they what they were. But um it's a big influence on on his behavior. So, shall we go a little deeper and see what was the relationship between this masculine's parents? Because it seems like it's affecting his, his, you know, relationship. So, Holy Spirit, show me the energy. What was going on between this divine masculine parents? Show me the energy of the divine masculine parents, not divine masculine. What was the energy of this divine masculine mother and father? How was he raised? What was what was the relationship between his parents? Can you show me? Religious factors. But the religious factors came in reverse. It didn't have nothing to do with religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious factors, upbringing, and spiritual path. 
So it 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 wasn't that. It didn't have nothing to do with religion. Passion here. Romantic feelings. So from it it looks like their his parents were you know loved each other and passion the sex was good um there was a lot of intimacy and bonding between his parents honeymoon no they may have not been married okay honeymoon in reverse enjoy the bliss of holiday time the honeymoon in reverse so his parents wasn't married and maybe that affected the way he you know maybe he's uh where he don't think about marriage just sex passion and romantic but his parents wasn't married show me more energy surrounding divine masculine his parents children okay in reverse the children so this could be you know this can mean with the children in reverse this can mean this is not divine masculine's real father maybe he didn't have his real father and a person who raised him didn't have children but they had divine masculine maybe he's not his biological son Maybe him and the mother, they didn't get married because that wasn't uh, the baby. It could be some something, you know, like some DNA stuff. Uh, somebody could have cheated and maybe somebody wasn't the father. You are not the father type of energy for somebody. I don't know. I'm just looking at the cards, what some of it can mean. There was a lot of passion and sex and somebody, maybe this divine masculine, he didn't have... Um, there was no codependency. So I feel like this, whoever, this is Divine Masculine's stepfather. It's not his real father. Yeah. His mom and daddy was always, the stepfather and the mama was always hugging, kissing, embracing each other. Yeah, but it wasn't his father. Who is it? I'm doing a reading. Yes. My door locked. Hold on. Didn't I just say a few minutes ago, my, my sons? Didn't I just say that? Just a minute. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, this is possibly this divine masculine. It could be his stepfather, but it looks like he 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 loved his mom. And he was raised by his stepfather, so I don't see why divine masculine. I don't know what the wounds are unless his mother paid more attention to oh his father wasn't there and his mother showed more love to this man that she did to her kids yeah so that can be the energy of the unfit mother 
that we've seen. It could have been his own mother. I never thought of that. Okay. Give me one more spirit. What is the energy surrounding the masculine parent? He also seen his father. Now, if it, now the rose can be reversed. I'm eating a gummy bear. He could, his mother's ex-boyfriend could have been abusive to her and his father could be the one where there's a lot of passion. Or it can be the opposite. Maybe his father was abusive. And his stepfather is the one who's, you know, making his mother's heart sing for joy. I don't know. But he got mother and father wounds. It has something to do with his parenting. And like I said, maybe his mother wasn't a good mother. Maybe he was adopted. Maybe he was abused. Okay, so. I want more. Get some advice. Let's see how this masculine is feeling about. Divine Feminine. What's the energy surrounding this Divine Masculine when it comes to Divine Feminine? Why there are no connection, no um, communication? What's the energy going on with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and no communication? Confession. He want to confess to Divine Feminine that he made a mistake. And the mistake is him keeping it, you know, what was the mistake? What was the mistake? What is the mistake that this masculine wants to confess to Divine Feminine? What is the mistake? Obsession. Infatuation. Adoration. Addiction. He may come confess to you that he has some sort of addiction. He may, get, may come confess to you that he's infatuated with you. He's going to come clean. He may be trying to message you. What is this obsession here? Clarify obsession. He can't resist you. Yeah. He's trying to, but he can't. And he's secretly suppressing his feelings. Yeah. Yeah. And this is this is because of his childhood wounds. He suppresses his feelings. Healing, releasing, purifying, cleansing your energy. Or this is him. He's trying to heal. He may have recently 
got him an amethyst. He may be, um, he has some, he didn't got some carnelian. That's, that's the stone, the stone for, um, sexuality and sexual creativity. The carnelian is for your sacral chakra. So he could be trying to heal his sacral chakra. I'm blocking it. And he miss you and he want to connect and he wants you to unblock him. And I see these these carnelian stones out here. So he's trying to um, he's trying to get his sexual shit together. Mhm. Mm yeah. He probably be jacking off to your pictures to buy him yeah, because he's infatuated with you. But he don't want to chase no ecstasy. He don't want to be out there partying. Because he got the truth and clarity. Something about somebody took some pictures, taking some pictures. He may find out some truth. Somebody may send him some pictures. About his baby mama. You may get some pictures about him. That could be how the secret came out. You could have had a private investigator to follow him. Or somebody took some pictures and seen him. With the, the kid and his baby mama. Or you seen or heard something. The truth came out. And if they haven't. It's his, it's his intentions to tell you. But I feel like I said, he's he he got a lot of stuff that he got to take care of. Yeah. So if this reading resonated with you, then go ahead. Subscribe to my channel. Share my video. Hit the notification bell. And make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next reading. And when you do those things... It, it's it's a way to help my channel grow. Okay, so I need you guys to do that. If you'd like to make a donation to my channel, the information to my Cash App and my PayPal is in the description box below. And if you're interested in a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. All you have to do is look at the hashtags and then click more. When you click more, it's going to drop, make a drop down box and you scroll down and you'll see all the information that you need to see. See you in the next reading. Peace out.